Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the former Adventure Boots, which are £209.99 a pair. Former Adventure Boots are a really popular pair of motorcycle adventure touring boots which have been around for a few years now and have proven really popular with both magazine testers and also with sports bike shop customers. They are really highly rated for protection. The CE level on these is two in all categories, so they're two for full height and then in all three technical tests they are level two, so you know that they've got good resistance against abrasion, against cut and against crushing forces, lateral crushing forces, the kind that you might have if a bike was to land on your foot. They are made from what's called an oil skin upper, so they kind of combine the look of an adventure boot with more of a vintage boot. A lot of people seem to buy these for the styling because that oiled leather kind of looks like a classic bike boot as much as it does an adventure, a motocross boot. They also have a really kind of chunky treaded sole, which is kind of like a walking boot. Now, this sole really reveals the true purpose of these boots, despite what, how, how things might appear. These aren't designed to be used as an off-road boot. Uh, former listies are saying that if you ride on a bike with kind of grippy bear trap style metal pegs then you're going to damage that sole so these really are designed more for adventure touring rather than for dedicated hardcore off-roading. The practicalities are all in place that oil skin leather upper is backed by a dry -tex, waterproof breathable membrane when you read through the customer reviews you notice that the waterproof fin is really highly rated on these boots so we think you can trust that to keep your feet dry. So the, the off-road styling extends to the closure. They fasten with a combination of the Velcro strap at the top here and then three motocross style clasps, quite simple plastic ones. Flip them open there and then this closes across. There's plenty of adjustment on these clasps to help you accommodate bigger or smaller um, shins and calves. There's 80 mil length on these sliders and they've got a nice micro adjustable click on them so that you can fine tune that fit to suit what you need. There's protection for your malleolus which is the hard bony extrusion at the top of your ankle with plastic inserts here either side of your ankle. You've also got the shin guard around the top to protect against strikes there. There's a rubbery plastic guard to stop the gear change damaging that oil skin leather upper. And then around here, you've got the hard plastic toe box. The idea of that is that it protects against crushing injuries um, around your toes. This is one thing that does come up in the customer reviews, is that people mention that's quite tall, and you might want to consider adjusting your gear lever on your bike to give you a little bit more room between foot peg and gear lever, because some people found that this was clashing with their gear lever and there wasn't enough room in there. That's not something that's unique for the former adventure boots. That's something that you find on a lot of off-road style boots is that they're taller around the toe area. So it's, it's worth making sure that you've got the clearance there that you need around your gear lever. Comfort is something else that comes out of those customer reviews. These are really highly rated for their walking comfort. That sole is reminiscent of a walking boot and people are really happy with these. Having worn them myself, there is a really satisfying squidge to the insole when you put the boots on and they are quite reassuring both when riding and while, while walking. And they're also quite light. Some adventure boots have a tendency to be quite heavy and weighty and they feel a little bit like walking around in moon boots with a stiff sole, but these are the opposite of that. They feel really nice, light, flexible, but you've still got that CE level two protection. So for people who are looking at touring and long days in the saddle, these seem to present a good option. I would say from the customer reviews, the number one factor that comes across is around sizing. There's a really prominent feel that people need to go up one size in these boots. There are some people within those reviews who've gone up one size and regretted it, but on the whole, most people seem to feel that that is the right thing to do and that they've benefited from going up a size. Some people have even gone up two and found that they're still comfortable. 
These are a size 43, so that's a nine in this country, which is my normal size. And when I wore these, I spent some time on a Tenere 700 in these. For riding, they were perfect, absolutely great. But for walking, I found that my toes nudged up against the end of the boot. And for me, I would go up to a, a Euro size 44 in these just to give myself a little bit of extra room in the boot. So as I said earlier, these boots have been really popular both with sports bike shop customers and also with the magazine reviewers. These boots were awarded the Ride Best Buy Triangle in an Adventure Boots test by Ride Magazine, which is the UK's most respected kind of publication on kit testing. And when you look through those customer reviews, we've had over 100 of them and the average score is 4.80, which really suggests that people are very, very satisfied with these boots. I hope that gives a detailed breakdown of the former adventure boots, but if there's anything you feel that we've missed, please pop a question in the comments below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.